Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Texans McNair privately apologizes to Deshaun Watson. Houston Texans owner Cal McNair has privately apologized to Deshaun Watson. It's a start. Houston Texans owner Cal McNair recently went public and took the entire blame for the entire mess, the conflict with QB Deshaun Watson and more, and now may be going in private to heal the wounds. According to a new report from the Houston Chronicle's Aaron Wilson, the Texans chairman and CEO has reached out to quarterback Watson privately and offered a personal apology for the dysfunctional behavior of the team's front office in this offseason and maybe for problems that precede this offseason. We're told that there remain lingering issues in the Texans locker room that date back to the trading away of all pro wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins, a more overseen by now deposed boss Bill O'Brien, but also approved of by not only McNair, but also by top aide but non-football guy Jack Easterby, or Easterby. Maybe McNair's apology is a far-reaching one, and maybe there is more than more the organization can do to repair the chaos, no, the chasm, excuse me, repair the chasm, not because Watson need to be appeased, as many inaccurately speculate, but rather because honesty and forthrightness are needed here. After the Texans hired New England Patriots Director of Player Personnel Nick Casario as the new general manager, Watson reportedly did not respond to contact from the club. Why? Because management had pledged to involve him as a locker room voice in the search for a new GM and a new coach. That betrayal was real and ill-advised, as was the trade of Hopkins, an error that demonstrated this front office inability to read the room. Logically, as sources continue to tell that Watson has not issued a trade demand, McNair and company need to get the next move right. Watson is in favor of Tim Kelly, the offensive coordinator, being retained. He is also a fan of Eric Bieniemy, the Chiefs coordinator, who seems to be a finalist for the head coaching job, a group that includes Bill's defensive coordinator, Leslie Frazier. As in any conflict, the fix can be as simple as an apology. Cal McNair has at least done that. So, there you have it. And Dick Vermeil, when you basically said that... um. Deshaun Watson needs to, they need to get him some pampers. This is the problem between coaches and the players. Dick Vermeil, Deshaun Watson never asked for a trade. <laughs> he never said, I want to trade. I want to get out of here. He never said that. He just was upset. And that's something that, you have to consider. You said to this man's face that, yo, I'm going to include you into the hiring processes of the general manager and the court and the head coach and all of the things that are to this team because this is your franchise player. Peyton Manning, you didn't think they went to go talk to Peyton Manning? You didn't think they – now, Tom Brady, that's a different story. They didn't talk to Tom Brady because Bill Belichick's a douchebag. <laughs> That's just who he is. Um, but you're right. Dick Vermeil, you're right in some senses as the organization could do what they want. That's just how it is. It's not in your contract, which he's right. Dick Vermeil was right from that aspect. It's not in your contract for the organization to basically talk to you. They don't have to talk to you. They don't have to discuss things with you because that's their team. And Deshaun Watson has to understand that, that these owners do not care. But Cal McNair came out and said something about it because Cal McNair deserved to say it's his fault because it has been. You allow Bill O'Brien to trade you, Davian Clowney, and DeAndre Hopkins, two pieces that could have helped your team. That was helping your team at the time. Y'all were getting to the playoffs. Y'all just needed to keep 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 that team together so you could go to the next level. You guys were in the AFC the semis last year. Y'all were in the AFC semis. So it's like Deshaun Watson at the end of the day He's not going to sit out. Deshaun Watson is pissed off because he's not being included. But to me, 
all of this stuff will be fixed if they hire Eric Bieniemy as the head coach. And I keep telling people, give him a chance. And not no one year or two year chance. Give him at least three to five years. I would give him five years. I would give coaches five years to coach. Um, that's just me. Because you have to go through a regime change. You got to get the players in there you want. Then you got to put your schemes in. To me, that takes time. But let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Do you think the owner was supposed to um, give an apology to Deshaun Watson? Or do you think Deshaun Watson's being a big crybaby? Um, to me, this is a start. To me, they need to get Eric B. Enemy and they need to get a, a, a reliable defensive coordinator, a real defensive coordinator. Not these bums they've been hiring. But, um, and J.J. Watt also came out and apologized to Deshaun Watson for wasting his year. But, J.J., man, it, it's not just your, it's not, it's not your fault. You're older now. And you've had injuries. You, you can't help injuries. All you can do is do your best to stay healthy and do what you can. But the thing is, th this has been the problem. This has been the problem to me with both um, Houston and Dallas. They have incompetent owners. Their owners are very stupid and they want it done. Uh, they, the Texans owner will let you do what you want to do. But he doesn't, he lets you go way too far. He don't, he don't know when to put a cap on you. The other owner in Dallas, he's just too of a too big of a control freak. Instead of lightening the load and, and listening to football people, hiring football people, he, people, he want to do everything. So, but I'm going off topic. But Deshaun Watson, this is a start. I believe Deshaun Watson is the best quarterback in the league outside of Brady. I got Brady one. I got Deshaun two. Um, I got Patrick Mahomes three. Number four, I got um number four. Um, you could say Aaron, you could say Russell. I still got Russell number four. Um, number five, um, you can either put Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen in there, or Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's still in the top 10. Um, he had a bad playoff run again. But Deshaun Watson is, is to me, the best quarterback in the league after Tom Brady. Um, he proved it. He proved he could ball without those people. To me, you took away his number one receiver who's out there in Arizona balling. The only reason they lost was because their defense sucked all year and Kyler got hurt. But um, let me know, like I said, um, is Deshaun Watson, did he deserve an apology from Kyle McNair? Or do you think Deshaun Watson is being a crybaby? I believe that Kyle McNair needed to apologize to him to break that ice. He's your franchise quarterback, regardless of how others. Now, Dick Vermeil, what he said about the situation, I mean, he's kind of right, but he's also, you know, out of touch. I understand what he's saying, you know. That's old school. So I respect Dick Vermeil. Dick Vermeil is a good, good dude. Um, he 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 coached at a high level, but he doesn't need diapers, Dick. <laughs> um, I just believe this is a new era, and if this is your franchise guy, you're supposed to talk to him. Just give him, just give him the decency to talk to him. Let him know that's all he wanted. Deshaun just wanted to be in the loop. That's it. If you decided to hire somebody, he'll be like, okay, I'm cool. But you guys didn't even give Eric B. Enemy no chance to interview. And you guys went after a Patriots GM? Why? Those guys suck. There has not been a great Patriots GM. Probably in Tennessee because Vrabel can actually coach. Vrabel's a great coach. <laughs> Vrabel knows X's and O's. But... That was dumb. And to me, you should have let Deshaun in that uh, in the office. And Deshaun didn't return your calls because he didn't want that guy. Because he knows about New England Patriot guys. They're all a-holes. They're douchebags. They're living off of those championships that Tom Brady built. Yes, Brady built those championships. Belichick had a hand in it. But he's more, I say, 20, maybe 30. I say 30%. I give Brady 70%. So, 
Like I said, let me know in the comment section what you think. Thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you want to donate to the page, cash at me at the word welcome, the number two, and then HDII TV. Thank you for listening, and we're out. Deezy.